I'm Maddie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a simple, easy robot slash cyborg face paint. If you watch my web series, this is K8's makeup. The things you're going to need are black face paint, white face paint, silver face paint, sponge, white eyeliner pencil, your foundation, and a fine tip paintbrush for detailing. Start by pulling all your hair back and out of your face. Then apply your foundation. You're going for a really plastic, not human look, so really put a lot of it on. Then take the silver face paint and start in the middle of your eyebrows and cover the lower half of your forehead, including your eyebrows. Then go down the very top of your nose. Then for the jaw, you're gonna start at the very bottom of your hairline and bring the line in right underneath your cheekbone and then color in the rest of your jaw. Then make a line starting at the corner of your mouth and going down to your chin. Do this on both sides and make sure that you cover your bottom lip. Then cover your neck. Then take your black face paint and cover your eyelid. Make sure it looks circular and have it go just underneath your eyebrow, not touching your eyebrow. Onto the eyebrows. If your robot is supposed to be very feminine and female, then make sure that the eyebrows are very pointed and accentuate the eyebrow. If it's supposed to be male, then make sure it's very thick and square. Now you're going to outline the silver and keeping the lines very sharp. You're gonna make a line that goes up on the silver on your forehead. This makes it look like you have two metal plates on your eyebrows. Outline the nose, jaw, and mouth. Then connect the mouth and jaw lines on the outside edge of your jaw. I put lines on my neck to cover up my neck wrinkles, but whatever works for you. Now it's time to paint on the screws. Now don't do full circles for these. Make sure they look like C's and they're all gonna be facing the same direction. This makes it look like they're all getting light from the same light source. And it doesn't matter what your actual light source is, just so long as it looks like it's getting light from somewhere. Then draw the lines for the screw slots. Now for this, you want these lines to be all going the different directions because when you're putting in a whole bunch of screws, they never line up perfectly. Then the eyelashes. Again, if you're doing a female character, then you wanna do this. But if your robot is supposed to be male, then there's really no need to do this. Then take the white eyeliner. You're gonna apply this to your waterline. Because white reflects light, it makes your eyes look bigger and not quite human. Then take your white paint, and you're gonna put a dot of white on the opening of the screw. This makes it look like it is catching the light. And for the last touches of my K8 character, I add my wig, shirt, and tie. There you have it. This is K8. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button now. If you want to see more videos, then please hit the subscribe button. My thanks to you.